Hello and welcome to this video on the lowest common denominator and excluded values of rational equations. The objective of this video is to teach you how to find the lowest common denominator and that should sound extremely familiar. Um, and then we're going to introduce this new term um, called excluded values. Now the context for what we're talking about with lowest common denominator and excluded values is going to be rational equations and we've been talking about uh, rational functions right and these are uh, the kind of functions that look like this f of x equals 1 over x where visually we have uh, say some some asymptotes right here and here, and then I have this type of, of function. So now we're going to be looking at equations, um, and again, today we're finding the LCD and excluded values. Prior knowledge for this lesson is going to require you to put on your factoring cap, and specifically we're going to be looking at um, here I have trinomials and uh, a binomial. If I want to factor this trinomial, we can use the AC method. Um, what factors of negative two um, produce a negative one? So this would be x plus two times, actually not plus two. Plus two would, would give us a, a positive b value on a negative. So x minus two times x plus one. So there is my trinomial factored. Here for difference of squares, I have uh, two perfect squares, so I can open up two binomials, and I take the square root of x squared, which is x, x, and square root of 49, which is 7, 7, and they have alternate signs, which make our, our b value disappear. Okay, so there's some factoring background. To start off, I want to talk about what a rational equation is. A rational equation is an equation that involves at least one rational expression. So you can see some um, rational expressions here, and I have um, a variable in the denominator. Okay, these make uh, ra these make these are rational expressions because I have an equal sign. Um, present. Okay, so you can see here I have a variable denominator and there's equal sign, therefore they are a rational equation. These are non-examples. In this example here, right, we have no equal sign. I do have rational expressions, however, it's not set equal to anything, so this would just be a rational expression. And in this example, I have an equation, however, there are no rational, um, there are no variables in the denominators making them rational expressions. So today we are going to focus on the lowest common denominator or the LCD of a rational equation. And what it is, is the product of all factors shared between. So the product of all factors shared between two or more denominators. So I'm going to highlight this in green and you'll kind of see why, why I'm doing this in a moment. Between two or more denominators and any remaining factors, any remaining factors. Okay, so that is our LCD. So here's just um, an overview of what we're doing. So I have rational expressions. The first thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is factor. So I have to make sure my denominator is completely factored. After factoring, you can see here that um, I have this factor, x plus six, it's shared with this other expression, okay? And that's what I mean by shared, right? X plus six, this is shared. Now, I also have other factors, but notice X minus six, that's not shared with uh, two or X. Two, that's not shared with uh, X minus six or the X over here. And then the X, uh, that's not a factor that's present in either of these expressions. So these become, remaining factors, they're remaining. Now, how we write our LCD, how we write our LCD is you take the shared factors, 
okay and you write those first so if I was writing shared this would be um, x plus 6 I write that once and you can see that present here x plus 6 now um, I also am going to take the remaining factors too okay so I have x minus 6 right I write that down and that's that's present here and then I take 2 I'll put that out front we always put numerical coefficients out front and we also have this x so I bring that along okay so here's my shared factor here's my remaining and you'll see that the LCD for this example um, is 2x times x plus 6 x minus 6 Okay, that'll be it for this uh, concept kind of overview um, video. Please click the, the next couple of examples to view how we are going to find our LCD. All right, welcome to the example video of finding the lowest common denominator and excluded values of rational equations. Um, in this example, I'm going to show you how to find the LCD of this equation here. And the first thing that we have to do in these examples is factor. So I need to make sure that my rational expressions are completely factored. In this case, I have no trinomials. I have no um, quadratic binomials. So this is already completely factored. So the second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, find my LCD. And the way you do that is you identify shared factors. So looking at this, I have x minus 2. I have x plus 4 and I have 6. So in this case, we have no shared factors, none. So then we move on to remaining factors or what I like to call leftovers, remaining factors. Okay, and in that case, I have x minus 2. So my LCD will be x minus 2. I also have x plus 4, and I have 6. I'll put 6 over here. Okay, so therefore, our LCD is just the, the product of um, all of these. So I could say LCD is 6 times x minus 2 times x plus 4. And that's it. That's our LCD. Second example, here we have to go ahead and factor. So step one. Factor. Now a lot of these problems you're only going to have to factor the denominator, but if you um, had a more complicated rational equation you would have to also factor the numerator and you can uh, reduce factors in this case we, are, we aren't going to see that so I'll factor um, and what we get is x plus 1 over uh, what factors of negative 10 produce negative 3 and that would be x minus 5 x plus 2 minus 5 over 2x plus 4, this has a GCF, so I'll pull out the 2, leaving me with x plus 2, and we have x minus 4 over 3 times x. And it's important to notice that this numerical coefficient, this is its own factor, 3, okay? So I'm going to look um, first, and what I'll do is I'm going to look for... Uh, my shared factors. So 2 is identify LCD and I'll find out, okay, what's shared? And by looking, you can see that you have an X plus 2 that is shared. So I'm only going to take one of those. I'll take a X plus 2 and there's nothing else that that's in common. So I'm, I'm done there. 
So then I'll go to remaining factors. Okay, and I have x minus five. I have a two. I have a three and I have an X. Okay, so our LCD is going to be two times three. We'll put the coefficient out front, that's six. And then I'll put the X out front, six X. And I have these two factors here, X minus five. And then I bring along one of the shared factors. So X plus two. Okay, um, that's it for this. Um, these examples. Please go ahead, look at the uh, the practice problems in Google Classroom. So open up that PDF. Try a couple of the the practice problems. There's space in your notes for those. So fill those in um, and give those a shot. Each slide alternates. So on one side, you'll see the problem. On the second slide, you'll see the, the same problem with the answer. So make sure you give it a try before, before peeking at the answer. Um, and that's it. Thanks. Hello, welcome to this video on lowest common denominator and excluded values of rational equations. Um, the last thing that we need to talk, up to, uh, talk about are um, this idea about restricted values that um, cannot be plugged into an equation. So if I was to, to solve an equation for a variable, say here x, um, some solutions cannot be included in our set of domain because they produce what's called um, extraneous solutions. Now these extraneous solutions are solutions that are excluded values. So I have to talk about this idea of an excluded value. An excluded value is a value that makes a denominator zero. So for instance, if I have this expression, one over x, an excluded value would be a value that would make the denominator zero. Okay, so an excluded value, for example, in this situation would be just zero. If I plug in zero in for my solution here, um, then I have zero in my denominator and I can't um, have that because we cannot d divide by zero. So for instance, if you look at these examples, 3x over x plus 1 equals 2 over x minus 2 plus x minus 4 over x squared minus x minus 2. If I plug in negative 1 or 2, one of my denominators um, or multiple would go to 0. And the reason for that is, is if I plug in here, negative 1 into this value, what does this go to? Well, negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Can't have that. If I plug in 2 into this value of x. This goes to 0. Cannot divide by 0, so that goes to 0. Um, and then this trinomial here, we saw this in prior knowledge, x squared minus x minus 2 um, is equal to x plus 1, x minus 2. So lo and behold, if I plug in um, negative 1, into x for either of these, or if I plug in two, then this whole denominator goes to, to zero, okay? So that's what an excluded value is. An excluded value is a value that makes the denominator go to zero. Now, if I have solutions that pop up, and we'll talk more about this in the coming days, um, if I have a solution that is an excluded value, we call that solution extraneous or extra, right? That root part is extra. We just we just throw it out, okay? And that's what this says here. Extraneous solutions are not included in the final solution set. So let's look at some of these examples. Um, our objective is to just find the excluded values of the equation, um, and we'll use more of these coming up. Okay, so how you do this is you 
set the uh, each factor of the denominator equal to zero. Okay, and I'll, I'll type this here. So set each factor in a denominator equal to zero. Okay, so that's that's what you're gonna do first. So let's go ahead and look at that. If I have x minus 2, I set it equal to 0. x plus 4, I set it equal to 0. And then 6, this is kind of a, a unique case. This one's weird. I set 6 equal to 0. Is 6 ever equal to 0? No, it's not. So I, I throw that out. We just completely ignore that. Okay, so I, I have this here. Um, step two is going to be solve for x. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll add two to this side, and we get x equals two. Here, I'll subtract four on each side. We get, well, I want to make sure I write it down here, x equals negative four. Okay, so what this means is if I plug in two, uh, this factor will go to zero. So we say, hey, x cannot be two. If I plug in negative four, this factor will go to zero, and I throw that out. So we exclude these values. Here are excluded values, okay, negative four and two. And if you think about this, these are easily identified as our h values. Isn't our h value here two? Isn't our h value here negative 4? Okay, and I want you to remember that x equals h. These are what we call vertical asymptotes when we talk about uh, rational functions. These are vertical asymptotes, right? Now, vertical asymptotes exist for a reason. I cannot have um, that value included in my domain. So I hope you see the connection between excluded values and uh, vertical asymptotes. Let's look at one more example. Here they want us to find the excluded values of the equation. So again, I'll set each factor uh, in the denominator equal to zero, but notice I have a trinomial. So first, I'll factor. So this is x minus five. Yeah, this thing's glitching. X plus two. Here I have two times X plus two. And this is three X. Okay, so I factored my denominators. Now I'm gonna set each one equal to zero. So X minus five equal to zero. Here, X plus two equal to zero. Um, here I can take two, again I can set two equal to zero, we just end up throwing this out, so we ignore this. Notice here how I have x plus two repeating, okay, you only need to write it once. Again, three, I'll set three equal to zero, we just ignore it, we throw it out. And then lastly, I have x equal to zero. Okay, so what are my excluded values? Well, I add five. And I get five as the one excluded value. Here I subtract two, and I get negative two as an excluded value. And then over here, I don't have to do any solving. X is equal to zero. Okay, so what this means is it means X cannot be negative two. X cannot be zero, and X cannot be five. These are our excluded values, okay? So, closure for the lesson. What is an excluded value of a rational equation? Please pause the video, write a response in your notes. Hopefully you can state what an excluded value of a rational equation is. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Have a great day. And there's an excluded value of a rational equation. Okay, it makes one or more of the denominators equal to zero. All right. Peace. I'm out.